Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out what happens to Karen Jones after you beat the game. So Karen Jones is one of the few characters that we don't get a whole lot of closure on. So for example, after the epilogue and after the ending of American Venom, you can meet characters like Mary Beth and Tilly and Rains Falls, and you can run into Pearson in the Rhodes General Store. And even characters that you don't see. We specifically get details on, you know, someone like Leopold Strauss, who ended up getting caught by the government and actually was like tortured, I think. And then there's newspaper articles for people like Reverend Swanson, who owns a church now in New York. So we get closure on pretty much all of the characters in the game, except for the ones that obviously reappear in Red Dead Redemption, like Dutch and Bill and Javier, because we obviously know what happens to them. However, one specific character from the game we don't get a lot of closure on, and that is Karen Jones. And uh, this has been a mystery that I think a lot of people have been interested in solving. So before we can talk about what happened to Karen Jones after the story, let's first get some background on her. So she is a consummate scam artist and trigger woman. Karen can drink pretty much anyone under the table and does so most nights. If a bank needs robbing, just say the word and she'll be the first on her horse. Bold and full of fun, she loves the outlaw life and wouldn't have it any other way. Although the debauchery is starting to take a toll on her after all these years. She speaks her mind and takes no nonsense, but is big hearted and looks out for everyone, especially the other girls. And we don't know much about her life before the Vanderlyn gang. But she found herself as a member at some point prior to 1899. Now, I think Karen is a really good example of, over time, the Vanderlyn gang deteriorating. I think she just shows it a whole lot more. Now, in the beginning in Chapter 2, especially in the Horseshoe Overlook chapter, Karen is one of the most pleasant people in the game. In fact, in one of the first few missions, she actually accompanies Arthur and Uncle to Valentine. And she gets information on the bank and, you know, she often talks about how there's so many more opportunities for them to go after. And we even see in this mission that she seems like a pretty tough character as she actually got punched in the face by this guy. I mean, Arthur had to eventually intervene and rescue her, but she said that she's fine and she, you know, got up no problem, dusted herself off. Now, I think there's one important event in the life of Karen Jones that really sends her life into a downward spiral. And that is the death of Sean McGuire. So when Sean McGuire is rescued from Blackwater, him and Karen get really drunk at the ensuing party back at camp. And Sean begins telling Karen that he loves her, to which she replies that he only loves her when he's drunk, and that she can see in his eyes that he actually hates her, and she hates him too. And then a little bit after that, he insists that he continues to love her and the pair retire to a tent where they promptly begin to make love in John Marston's tent. So you can kind of see that Karen and Sean are lovers. And then, of course, as you guys know, in Chapter 3, Sean is actually killed. And this is when we start to see Karen really start to get frustrated with the gang lifestyle and the gang in general. In fact, there's a ton of little moments and hidden pieces of dialogue in camp where you'll just see Karen Jones walking around with a bottle in her hand, drinking all the time. And that is something you'll start to see a lot from chapter three, four, and six onward, is that not only will you start to see less of Karen at camp, but when you do see her, she will be drunk or she will be drinking some sort of liquor. And Rockstar does a really good job of portraying this as well because as the game progresses, her hairstyle is more and more unkempt and uh, she often lacks her signature rings on her fingers, meaning she's caring less about her appearance because she's probably just drinking herself all the time. And then, of course, that brings us to the end of Chapter 6 and to the epilogue. And we actually don't hear about Karen at all. However, there is an event that can trigger us to actually hear what happened to her. Now, you guys know that you can meet Tilly Jackson in San Denis. Now, Tilly Jackson is married, and she's married to a lawyer, lives in a big, rich house. However, if you meet her in San Denis, she'll actually write to you. 
and a letter will actually be delivered to Beecher's Hope in John's kitchen that he can actually read. And it gives us a ton of background onto what happened to Karen. So she says this, in spite of my happy life and my immense good fortune, a part of me misses the old days, something rotten, silly old Miss Grimshaw and angry Mr. Pearson and kindly Hosea, who was like a father to me and you both, and poor dear Arthur and all them bastards, and Karen, who was a sister to me and who I miss every day. I never heard what happened to her. But deep down, I know the drink did for her. So that's interesting. It clearly seems as if Tilly had the best relationship with Karen. They were likely the best friends of the girls in the gang. And even she doesn't exactly know what happened to Karen. But she says, I never heard what happened to her. But deep down, I know the drink did for her. So Tilly is assuming that Karen is dead likely because she drank too much or maybe succumbed to alcoholism. And I think this can almost be confirmed in chapter six with a special conversation you can have with both Tilly and Karen at camp where Tilly shares her concerns with Arthur and Arthur tries to speak to Karen, but I think the inevitable is already right in front of his eyes. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's going to kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try too. But... We both know it won't work. Oh, look who it is! Hello, Karen. Look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Because a good, sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Look at the state of you. Hey, there's no need for that. So for now, that is the best information that we know so far. There haven't been any newspaper articles or reports or letters that suggest Karen is alive in the epilogue. And we obviously don't see her in Red Dead Redemption, which of course would take place in you know 1911, 1914. We don't see her there. So I think the only way in which we would get more information on Karen Jones is if Rockstar did some sort of DLC or expansion that was in between the end of Red Dead Redemption 2, but before the beginning of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, that's the only way in which I could see us getting more information on what happened to Miss Karen Jones. And I think that is the end of her saga. And I do think it's a little bit unfortunate that we don't get more of a clear ending for Karen because she is one of my favorite characters of all time. I mean, she doesn't appear in a ton of missions, but she was always a really fun character to interact with. And I enjoyed, you know, all the missions where she would just go crazy or do something fun. But for now, I think that's all the information we are going to get on Karen Jones. So we can just assume that she's dead and that she likely succumbed to alcoholism. Now, I'm still holding out hope that we could potentially get more information because there another character you can meet who I mentioned earlier, Pearson, he's supposed to send you a letter as well. However, I was unable to get this letter. Like, you can clearly see the line of dialogue here from Pearson saying he wants to write you a letter to talk about some of the things that he doesn't want his new wife to overhear. Maybe one of those things is what happened to Karen Jones. But again, I was unable to trigger this uh, letter to spawn in. So I don't know if anyone has seen it, and I don't even know if it exists or if it was an oversight by Rockstar. But either way, I'm still holding out hope that we can gather some more information from Pearson. But if not, we just have to take Tilly's word that Karen likely has passed away. 
So that is what happened to Mrs. Jones after you beat Red Dead Redemption 2. I would say the mystery and the story has been solved. As always, though, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think happened to Karen Jones in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.